Hello, Gareth here, and today I'll be showing you how to build a solid lifting overflow for your aquaponics system. Um, so yeah, here it goes. So here's the stuff that you need to build it. Most of the things I already had cut, so I'm just using pieces I have. So you have a unisil, I'll explain more the purpose of this. You have a 90, um, a file, it's good for after when you cut the PVC. A saw, you can use any one, but the finer the tip, the better the cut is. Um, a unisil, and you have a T over here. And also an end end piece with holes in it. For the so yeah. To set, to set up the solids lifting overflow, um, you just basically put the pieces together. These were already cut, just had them lying around, and then we'll attach them over there. So the purpose of the um, the union is so I can take it out and clean this part if it gets clogged by any of the fish waste. So yeah, we'll go over there and I can show you putting it in and setting it up. Okay, so here's the fish tank I'm using, or the fish tub. It is 300 gallons and this one actually comes from the aquaponics source. Um, I got most of my things on Craigslist, so I got it cheaper than it is on the website. But I can post that below and you can see where it is. So to begin, the, well the holes were already drilled in this one, so those are the two holes. The drain hole that I can show setting up later, here's for the solid lifting overflow. So what you want to use is a unisil, and before you put it on, you want to make sure to clean it, preferably with alcohol, um, but I don't have any right now, so just using some water to clean it, and then to put it on there. So you want to clean the unisil, and then as well clean clean the, the inside of here as well, and around here. That allows it to prevent it from leaking and give it a better, better grip when you put the water in and everything. So you want to first put it in like this, make sure... Whatever uni seal you'll get, uni seal you get, it's for the size you're using. So I have all two inch tubes. So these will be going through here and then we'll be attaching it. So this will be connecting to my other grow beds, but this is just for the solids that's gonna overflow. It is challenging, but it gets there. Okay, so then yeah, the purpose of this union is so that when you you have it on here and you have the place where the solids enter at the bottom so if you ever have to clean it you can take it out again so also the good thing about this is that if that ever gets clogged this acts as an overflow so if your tank doesn't overflow it just comes through here so it's nice to have it in the center you don't want to have it completely on the bottom the drain you want to have it a little off because of the holes I'll see if this works. I might have to make more holes later. And so, yeah, and when you use a round tub, it's good to use a uni seal. Um, the bulkhead fittings are only if you use a flat surface, it's better for that. So, that is the setup of the saws lifting overflow. I can show you it working later on. So, for the saws lifting overflow valve, um, you don't need to glue any of the pieces because it's just from gravity. You can if you like but it's not really necessary, it's, you can if you want to be safe. But since it's just gravity, um, it's not, not that much pressure, so you can just put everything together via force and it should be fine. Yeah, actually during the video I did make a small mistake during the construction of the solids lifting overflow, so I'll just go over it real fast. What you actually want to do is put the unisil the other direction. I put it wrongly during the video, but it's pretty much still the same construction besides that. So yeah, you can see here the direction of the unisil. Yeah, that was a quick video on how to construct your own solids looking overflow for your aquaponics fish tank. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. And please leave a like and thumbs up. And thank you for watching.